Just imagine, after being abandoned by your parents and having your house engulfed in flames, you are left without a place to live. So, walking through the streets, very hungry and tired, he meets a peculiar woman who takes him to a dorm full of girls. Where one is prettier and weirder than the other, they employ you to take care of the place, and in the midst of so much confusion, they show a lot of love for you, which has started to love your new life. I'm Lancelot and in today's anime recap we'll be watching Mother of the Goddess Dormitory. The story begins by showing us Kosher, a 12-year-old boy who had his house covered in flames, and instead of taking responsibility for it, his father fled the city, abandoning him. In this way, he began to wander the streets without having a roof over his head or even food to eat. While he was on the ground, very hungry, a girl named Minoru appeared, claiming to be a researcher and asking what he wanted to eat. So she took him to her house, where she fed him, and seeing how dirty the boy was, she told him to wash up, which he did, but he ran off because of her getting too close. Kosher prepares for his bath, however, when he enters, he sees several girls without clothes, and again, ashamed, he runs away. A girl with pink hair called Athena, who also lived in the dorm, has just arrived, and they both end up bumping into each other. Falling flat on his face, he was pinned down by the other girls, and Athena had a nosebleed so bad that she couldn't get up. Minoru explains his situation to the others and tells him that this is the goddess dormitory at Saiken Women's University and that at the moment she is the foster mother of the dormitory and is in her fourth year of college. The others who haven't been introduced yet are named, Korea, second year, Fry, third year, and Serene, who doesn't remember how long she was there. They were sad to hear the whole story of the boy, who said that he needs to find a job and that he wants to go back to school, which he can't do without a place to stay. In this way, Minoru suggests that he become the mother of the dormitory, where she would give him, in addition to his salary, a place to stay. He accepted quickly, however, they still had a problem with Athena, who was in her first year, who did not accept the boy and decided to move. Asking what she had, we learn that the girl had spent her entire life away from boys, and in her last dorm, she had a problem with girls bringing their boyfriends into the house. She is so uncomfortable around men that one day she accidentally saw a colleague start doing that with a boy, and because of that, she had a nosebleed so intense that she fainted. Kosher doesn't want to stay in a place where he will need to expel a person, so refusing to do that, he runs after Athena. Catching up with her, he says that he turned down the proposal to live in the dorm so she could return calmly, as not having a place where she could relax would be difficult. Returning to her home, Athena remembers that the boy's house burned down, and she feels ashamed of her selfishness. The scene cuts, and we see the protagonist on a bench in a square. Tired, he falls asleep, and the girl finds him and starts carrying him back, but waking up halfway through, he ends up picking up where he shouldn't, making the girl pass out and having to carry her to the dorm. When he returns, he promises them that he will be very good at his new job. While cleaning the outside, he heard some girls talking badly about the dorm, understanding that it had a very bad reputation, and even starting his new job confidently, he saw the work he will have, where apparently Athena's room was the only one that wasn't completely dirty. Going to Minoru's room, she received him wearing only a lab coat, making him very ashamed and asking her to be dressed the next time. Stopping in front of Frey's room, she picked him up, dressed him for a cosplay, and asked Kosher to measure his body for new clothes. Even with a lot of shame, he ends up doing it, and the girl falls on top of him. Something interesting is about to happen when Minoru appears with a gas mask, forcing them to leave because of an experiment that went wrong. In this way, the protagonist lectures the two for their bad behavior, which they apologize for, but he runs away, feeling bad for having yelled at them, even though the two were not angry. Remembering that they were like that outside, Kosher came back with a blanket so they wouldn't get cold, which he got by begging on the street. Seeing how good he was and how much he cared about them, the girls hugged him, and because of the little clothes they were wearing, Athena saw this and fainted. During the night, she said that they could no longer do things like that around the boy and decided that she would clamp down on any immoral behavior coming from them. While she was sleeping and thinking how lucky she was to have a place to stay, Korea ended up punching from the ceiling and landing straight on the protagonist's face. Next to her, a shoujo manga fell, and the girl was very ashamed after the protagonist saw it. She came from a martial arts dojo and studied there with her brothers, but it was in college that she bought her first shoujo manga and fell in love with this world. Reading again, Kosher understands what happened. 
because she was embarrassed, she ended up damaging something, and this time she punched the wall of the boy's room. Due to having a hole in her room, Korea asks to sleep in his room, which, even with shame, she accepts. She asked to talk to him because the boy remembered his brothers, and when Kosher accepted, she got an armbar. Korea did this because he always played wrestling with his brothers and missed it, but as he was about to break the boy's arm, he released him. Which, finding the situation very strange and suggestive, ran out and went to sleep in her room. While sleeping, Serene appeared in the room to ask Korea for a snack, who, seeing the damage to the place, asked if he wanted her to fix everything using lunar technology, however, for that, he would have to become her servant. The boy was sleepy and didn't quite understand what that meant, but he accepted it, so they kissed, and looking at the moon, Serene started to shine, and the next day, the room was better than before, with the perfect floor, and he didn't know what happened. Wanting to be the best dorm mom she could manage, Kosher cooked breakfast, and everyone was overjoyed to be able to eat food made by someone who knew how to cook, as they all sucked at cooking. Athena wondered how the boy became so close to everyone in such a short time and decided to go with him to the market to buy food for dinner, trying to understand what they saw in him. Arriving near the market, we see that the girl was wearing a mask and nose plugs to stop the bleeding because of her aversion to men and because she was already feeling sick. They manage to buy everything and have a nice conversation together until she runs into two guys, but before the blood starts coming out of her nose, Kosher appears, calling her big sister, and carries her away. They stopped at an internet cafe for the girl to catch her breath, and the boy was feeling bad for having touched her even though he knew about Athena's problem and apologized for it. However, she wasn't worried about it at all, but she wanted him to keep calling her big sister and was very happy hearing him call her that. They returned home, and while having dinner, Athena thought of ways to help Kosher like he helped everyone. Seeing the girls doing those things again, she said that from now on she would protect him as her older sister, and seeing him call her that, they all wanted the same. After washing and hanging the clothes, Kosher thought about how his classmates and old school friends were doing. Later, after a little fuss and breakfast, they decided to have a competition for the best big sister. Starting with Fry dressing him up as a girl and getting a red card, next was Minoru, who also got it for wanting to use him as a guinea pig, and as usual, it ended up as a suggestive mess. Until Minoru said she had a surprise for him, she and Fry managed to get him back to school, even if they signed some papers and said sad things to the principal. Kosher was very happy on his first day of school, and suddenly, a girl kicked him away. Her name is Sudia, and she is the protagonist's childhood friend, who was very angry that he hadn't given her any news for all this time. Even if, in reality, she was just worried about her friend and couldn't bring herself to say it like a normal person. During the class, he decided that he would tell the girl everything, but in the time he had to talk to her, other classmates went to talk to him, even the teacher, who felt sorry for the boy's situation and said that he would do what he could to help him. Leaving the room, he ran to Sudia, and when the girl tried to leave, he grabbed her hand, making her very angry. Going to the roof, she was feeling bad for treating her friend like that, even for everything he went through. Apparently, she has a rare condition, and her body is more sensitive to heat than other people's, so she can't stay in the sun for long and feels bad when touching someone. She remembered the past, when she was still in preschool and saw the children playing together. Until Kosher noticed Sudia alone and went to talk to the girl, who told her about her condition, and quickly the boy went to the kitchen, where he put his hands in the freezer and put them on her face, allowing them to play together, even if after a while the temperature of his hands returned to normal, making her irritated, which pushed him right away. Very hot from being in the sun and thinking about his friend, Kosher appears with his hands frozen and does the same as in the past. He had brought several bags of ice in his lunchbox for that, until he ends up talking about the dorm. At first she thinks it's a lie, then says she'll go with him there after school, where they end up having a romantic moment, and she kicks him really hard. In this way, they went there, and upon arriving at the dormitory, one of Minoru's experiments failed, and dressed in a very suggestive way, she and Fry left the house. Upon arriving home, Athena meets Sudia and before Fry touches her, Koshi explains about her friend's medical condition and ends up being kicked by her. The girls are very interested in her when they see that the girl was very embarrassed by this, and they mock Athena, saying that a worthy opponent has appeared to face her. When she tried to explain that she was just his pseudo-sister, Korea appeared, 
claiming to be the most capable for that role, causing a fight. Sudia for discussion and says that she will be the person who will define whether or not that dorm is a suitable environment for Koshi. When seeing his room, she doesn't find anything strange, but seeing Athena praise him for his care and cleanliness, she starts to get irritated. The next room is Minoru's, where the protagonist asks if he is safe, as a little while ago there was a toxic gas leak coming out of there. Upon opening the room, his concern was true, and he couldn't enter, where Sudia says she remembers a boatload she heard at school about the toxic girl from the female university, which makes her alert meter increase. Next is Fry, who, showing a new outfit she made, jumps on the girl to wear it and is stopped by Athena. When looking at her room, Sudia's meter goes down again due to it being just a normal girl's room. Koshi compliments her, saying that it's very relaxing to be there, making the girl quite jealous. Korea shows up to help, and everyone goes to her room, where she has several posters of fighters and shoujo manga. However, upon opening one of them, she becomes embarrassed and leaves the wall with a punch, leading Sudia to believe that this dormitory is too dangerous. Nevertheless, Serene calms her down with a cookie, which, being out of date, makes the girl even more angry. Because it was already dark, they let Sudia sleep there, and as she is not an idiot, they chose to sleep in Athena's room. Seeing an opportunity, the pink-haired girl asked the girl about what Koshi was like in the past, but instead of answering, she asked what Athena's relationship with him was. While this conversation was unavoidable, the protagonist was relaxing in his bath, and when he got out, he bumped into Korea and fell on top of her. Before he could answer the question, they both heard a noise and went to find out, finding the two in a completely suggestive position. Angry, they question them about how that happened, the girl says that she decided to take another shower after the night training, and they both apologize for what happened. Sudia is outraged and fights with Korea, crying what she wants with Koshi, and runs back to the room. A few days later, when the two girls were awkward with him and did not respond to him right after breakfast, they quickly left for the university. However, as they left in a hurry, the two forgot their lunch boxes, and as they would stay there until late, they needed to eat. In this way, Fry convinces him to go there and deliver it, and, as it is a female university, she dresses him as a girl. Running across the campus, some girls saw him, and when they heard his voice, they realized it was a boy dressed as a girl. They became attentive and tried to chase him. Going to where Athena would be, he ended up bumping into two girls, who, along with those who were chasing him, held him there until his big sister appeared and saved him. Taking him outside, he handed her her lunch box, and together they went to Korea, who ended up wetting Athena and herself with a bucket of water. Together in the locker room, they changed and dried off, while the lucky guy stood there looking at the wall and listening to everything. When trying to wear one of Korea's clothes, she shocked both of them because of her bust, and one of the buttons couldn't take the pressure and exploded, hitting Koshi's face. In addition, when she realized that she was like that, she couldn't take it, and the nosebleed appeared again. Back in the dorm, Minoru asked the two why they were strange, and Athena replied that she was thinking about some things. So I showed them a leaflet, saying I wanted to go on vacation with everyone, and asked Koshi to invite Sudia too. All the girls got excited, with the exception of Serene, who ran back to her room when she heard about it. Going to see what happened, Koshi went to her room, which was a mess, and when he looked for her, everything collapsed on top of him. Upon questioning her, the girl said that those objects were created by absorbing the power that emanates from the moon and serving to implement lunar technology. That way, he remembered the day she fixed the floor and thought that it might not have been a dream. She explained that her activities are limited to the dorm in the college campus, and she had never left there, so she was afraid. Basically, because the moonlight is abundant in this area, it brought her peace of mind. So, the protagonist went to talk to the other girls about it, and they decided to give something to Serene, trying to make her not mind the trip. 
In fact, as the thing she likes the most is the moon, they thought of going after an object that made reference to it. Going to school, the protagonist saw Sudia melting because of the heat, and grabbing some ice packs helped her. Arriving in the classroom, Koshi invited her to the vacation trip, which he accepted so she could keep an eye on him. As the subject was the moon, Fry made some Sailor Moon cosplays and wanted Serene to go on the trip dressed like that. However, the moon girl reminded the cosplay addict that they could not go out in the middle of the public dressed like that. Minoru ended up preparing a special drink in search of conquering Serene, but opening it near Fry made the girl attack her. Coming back from school, Koshi saw Korea teaching Tai Chi to Serene, who couldn't take it and fell to the ground, until Fry and Minoru appeared dressed in Sailor Moon cosplays. Then, Athena also arrived and gave an umbrella to Serene, who opened it and realized that there was a moon inside. That way, she agreed to travel with everyone. After dinner, Koshi also gave her a present. He washed and sewed the girl's uniform, which was in terrible condition, making her very happy. The next day, everyone traveled to an inn that seemed to be haunted, as Athena ended up mixing up the names when renting. They put on their kimonos and went for a walk through the forest, where another one of those shameless misunderstandings happened and Sudia hit the protagonist. Despite the awkward location, the bathroom is very good. Minoru asked Athena why she decided to go on a trip with everyone together, and she explained that she wanted to have fun with everyone and make up for Sudia's last disastrous visit to the dorm. While taking his relaxed bath and looking up, Koshi saw Fry and Minoru trying to spy on him. Until the towels covering their bodies fell and the protagonist passed out with a nosebleed. Also, even though he said he wouldn't sleep in the same room as them, all the girls went to his, and in the middle of the night, Koshi saw Athena quickly leave. Even trying to go see where she was, Fry attacked him, and after getting out, he didn't know where to look, so Minoru appeared to help him. They searched in several places without success until they decided to go to the dark side of the inn, where some strange things started to happen and Koshi got scared. After the scientist got too close, the boy ran away and ended up finding Athena, however, when they looked to the side, they saw a ghost with an umbrella. Running away quickly, they ended up in a room full of futons and in a situation that was a little too hot. A mood started to happen, and she said that she would always protect him, but when they were about to do something, Minoru appeared, and we discovered that the ghost was serene. The next day, they said goodbye to the inn, and after a conversation between the protagonist and Serene, Fry and Minoru said that now everyone would go to the beach. Arriving at the beach, the girls decide to play volleyball, leaving Sudia very irritated by the fact that she is not the same size as them, if you know what I mean. As she swam, she wondered if that was what Koshi liked, who was using binoculars to watch them all. However, contrary to what you are thinking, he is doing this to take care of them. Looking at Athena, the boy thought about what had happened at the inn, and a small child had the audacity to accuse him of looking at the girls in a strange way. Sudia was upset thinking the same, and while she thought he didn't look at her, some little fish started chasing her until one tried to get in where it shouldn't, and she seemed to be drowning. Quickly, the protagonist runs to the sea to save his friend, but when we see it, it was Korea who did it and took her back to the beach. On dry land, Koshi asks the girl what happened, but angry and ashamed, she sends him away until the fighter tells her what happened. The protagonist was the first to realize that the girl was in danger and threw himself into the water, even though he didn't know how to swim. Therefore, he begged Korea to help her friend instead of her, showing that he was also paying attention to her. After the girls found out that the protagonist couldn't swim, they started saying that it was cute, making him feel embarrassed. Discouraged, Koshi went to buy some drinks for everyone, and on the beach, Korea put some ice packs that the protagonist had brought on Sudia's face and started talking to the girl. Which was feeling ashamed because the first time they met, she had mistreated the fighter, so the girl thanked her for being so kind. 
Interrupting this moment, Fry asks why the girl keeps her hair long if she has problems with the heat, to which she responds very embarrassedly. Basically, the preschool teacher she and Koshi had was the protagonist's first crush, so he tries to imitate her haircut. Finding this very cute, Fry hugs her and ends up making the girl feel bad, so Athena went in search of cold things to help. Returning to Koshi, the protagonist saw two boys hitting on Athena, who was already feeling sick, until he appeared. However, when asked who he was, Athena says he is his younger brother, which makes the protagonist get angry and take the girl away quickly. For touching her, Koshi apologizes, which he says is fine with him being different from the other boys, saying that he is like family to her. While taking a bath, Athena remembered what happened, and after that, Sudia appeared to thank her for the trip. She says that she feels bad for never being able to be useful to Koshi and always having to be helped by him. In this way, Athena says that she also feels that way, and that is why she has scheduled this whole trip. As they were leaving, Sudia was more relieved to think that Athena only likes the protagonist as an older sister, but when looking at him, she sees her friend as sad. In the following days, the protagonist was strange, very discouraged, and sad, so Minoru and Fry talked about it, trying to understand the reason. Fry has an idea of how to help him, so he takes him to one of his favorite places, a cosplay studio. That way, she convinces him to do it, and when they were getting dressed, as always, something very strange happened. They were cosplaying a game where the two were knights and brothers, and in a very weird way, the younger brother is in love with the older one, who only sees him as family. Understanding how similar this was to his situation, the protagonist, shocked and ashamed of it, decides to rush the photo shoot. Seeking to make the boy tell everything that was haunting him, Fry starts to get tough with him, and fighting like the characters in the game, Koshi starts talking about what happened on the trip. Much like an adventure anime, they face each other and give him a moral lesson, making the boy vent everything that was kept and hugging him consoles the protagonist, who returns to being as cheerful as he was before. Also, something cool in this episode that may go unnoticed by some is the poster in front of the studio, where there are some girls cosplaying the anime characters. The day of the girls' university festival has arrived, and together with Sudia, the protagonist went to check on how it was. Fry will be their guide. She took the two to a stall, where Minoru is the owner and has several totally suspicious products. These liquids are the home remedies she makes, and for the bad negative effects, she couldn't even be selling them in college, so some girls who were supervising the stall showed up, and quickly she left with her products, where she accidentally dropped one in the protagonist's purse. The next place they go is a presentation about Serene, which is basically some girls from the university who are researching the moon girl, and when they find out that she was at the festival, they go after her. Afraid they would do something strange to her, the three left to help her, however, they ended up seeing several very excited people, if you know what I mean, and all of this is Minoru's fault. One of the girls looking for Serene recognized the protagonist and helped Fry put the blonde wig on him, making her sure who she was. With that strange mist in the air, the girls who were there attacked the protagonist and Sudia until the all-powerful Serene arrived and, with a lunar laser, made everyone return to normal. Because she used too much energy, she fell to the ground, so Koshi took her to the infirmary while the other two went to get some food for her. Serene told him that physical contact restores her energy much more than food, and the most effective method is kissing. Thus, he remembers the time he dreamed about it and realized that it wasn't actually a dream. After she says that he is not the only servant, Koshi realizes that the girl also did this to the others. When she was close to doing that with him again, Koshi thought of Athena and threw herself back where at the same time the girls arrived with the snack, which, because it has a shape that reminds her of space, pleased Serene. The next stop is a coffee shop run by Athena, who was trying very hard to keep the nosebleed from appearing.
she was having trouble even attending to her friends, and Sudia really wanted to dress like a maid. Seeing Athena with problems serving boys, Koshi would help her but was stopped by Fry, who saw that the girl managed to turn around on her own. She was talking to her colleague about the protagonist, and the girl came up with the idea of her taking a break to hang out with him. So, in order not to be short on maids, Fry came up with the solution, Sudia, who already wanted to dress like this. That way, they go out together and end up in a beauty contest, where the girls are dressed as boys and Korea is competing and conquering many people. Being hot in the place, Koshi ends up drinking the strange potion that Minoru had made and starts to be afraid of the side effects. Talking with Korea, she invited the two to go to a labyrinth, and the protagonist was overly excited about it, believing it to be because of the elixir he had taken earlier. Arriving at the place, the boy is again super excited, and they enter what seems to be a haunted house, where the protagonist is more childish than ever. After they left, Koshi went to talk to Minoru, who said that she only had water in that pot, that is, he acted like an idiot of his own accord. Also, Sudia was doing very well in the cafeteria, stepping on the customers who seemed to like it a lot, and with general mayhem going on over Serene, the festival ends. Koshi and Atina saw Korea on the phone talking to her parents, who won tickets to a venue that will only be valid on Christmas Day. However, they always have a party for the dojo kids on that day, so Korea will have to take care of all of that herself. Thinking that it would be too much work for her, the two decided that they would help her out and agreed to go shopping together on their next day off. The day they went to buy Christmas presents arrived, however, the boy ended up going into the bathroom to clean and accidentally saw Athena, who ended up tripping over him. Due to the situation, her nosebleed appeared, and she was too much of a fight to leave the house. That way, the other two decided that they would go alone, and Minoru appeared to bother Korea, referring to this exit as a date, which made one fighter get embarrassed, destroy the door, and run away. In a mall, they found some appetizers for the party, and right after that, the decor, where she saw that several couples were buying things together, and looking at Koshi, they were embarrassed to think of it as a possible date. After buying everything and having a great time, the two stopped to eat, making it even more like a date, but after hearing a girl say that the protagonist and her were brothers, Korea realized what Koshi thought about her. In addition, he was jealous of Athena, thinking that if it were her, the protagonist would not see her just as an older sister. Continuing shopping, they end up finding a strange costume of a Santa Claus riding a reindeer, and she says she will have to buy one because, as her parents will not be, they will be charged to be Santa Claus. Korea asks if she hasn't gotten better as a boy, but the protagonist ends up saying that she looks great in women's clothing and should wear it more often, making the two feel embarrassed. As they were looking for a costume, they went to Fry, who was only too happy to help, deciding that she would make the outfit. Excited, she began at that exact moment, and Koshi couldn't escape because the cosplay maniac decided that she would make him a reindeer costume, and after tying him up, he started measuring the body of the fighter in front of him, who obviously couldn't stand the embarrassment and ran away. On the day they leave for the children's Christmas party, the protagonist goes into the bathroom again and sees Athena, causing the same confusion that, honestly, I think is for taste. That way, she won't be able to go again, but lucky for them, Serene shows up and is convinced to help them with some moon cookies. As soon as they arrived at the dojo, the children were very excited to see new people. We took them to train with them, and we saw that Korea would be the teacher. But when it was Koshi's turn to learn a technique, the girl got embarrassed for being too close to him and threw him to the ground with everything. Afterwards, one of Korea's brothers appeared, asking the protagonist if he was her, thinking that Koshi was a subordinate of his sister, as he saw her as a boss of delinquents. And since that usual fan service couldn't be missed, on Serene's turn, her kimono was opening, but the spoilsport censored her. 
With the training over, they started to decorate the dojo, and dressed as a reindeer, Koshi appeared with some badges to give to the good children, who were very discouraged as they wanted the gifts right away, leaving him upset that he spent too much time making them. Seeing that one of the children was isolated from the others, the protagonist went to see how he was doing. Finding that the girl was sad for thinking that only good kids would get presents and for being the worst student in the dojo, she felt that she didn't deserve to play with others or get a present. Koshi explains to her that it's hard for an introverted person to make new friends, and that skill has nothing to do with behavior, so upon hearing from her that she was putting effort into her training, he tells her that Santa will come and bring presents. Soon after that, the other children showed up, and because they understood that Koshi had put in the effort to make the emblems, they also decided to use them. After making the decorations, Korea and Serene appeared in super short costumes that Fry made, which created a climate between them and the protagonist. However, scared to see his sister in a skirt for the first time, her younger brother ended up doing something stupid, and that's why he was knocked out. After receiving their gifts, the children had a lot of fun playing with them and eating the party snacks until the boy appeared again, and because Koshi was dressed as a reindeer, he told Korea to ride on top of him. Serene heard this and loved the idea. However, when climbing on top of his back, the protagonist noticed that the girl was not wearing her underwear, and she said that she could not spoil the sacred garments that were made for her with additional clothes. Thus, dying of shame, Koshi runs with Serene outside in search of making the girl dress right. After the party ended, the protagonist sat outside, where Korea appeared to talk to him. She thanked him for everything and apologized for not having bought anything for him, which he didn't mind, and taking one of his badges, he gave it to her for her effort, which ended up creating a climate, but before something happened, Serene appeared, and it started to snow all over the dojo. While cleaning the courtyard as usual, Koshi and the other girls were called by Fry and Minoru, who showed them that they had bought a kotatsu, which is basically a table with blankets and lead warmers. That way, everyone sat there, and to Athena's jealousy, Korea put the protagonist on her lap, and everyone ended up having fun. Koshi was very happy because he always wanted to do this and have fun with his family in Kotatsu, who were very happy to hear this and thought about what they could do with him on the mobile. Athena was one of the most excited until the protagonist asked to invite Sudia to study with him. After class, the protagonist went with his childhood friend to the dorm, where upon learning that he invited her to study at a Kotatsu, the girl got angry, as staying in something hot is a very bad idea for her. However, he says he won't turn on the heater, and on the condition that he also has ice cream, she accepts. When they got home, Koshi was impressed to see that nobody was at Kotatsu since Serene almost never leaves there. Thus, they take advantage of the privacy and start to study, where, due to being too cold, the protagonist ends up calling at the very least. Being very pleasant because of Kotatsu, the protagonist fights against sleep, and when he sees his friend, she is already sleeping, and he does the same right after. Because of the heat, Sudia wakes up, turns off the heater, and corrects Koshi's homework while the boy is sleeping. Until he starts to move and puts his foot where he shouldn't, making her make some strange faces, Athena appeared, and for shame, Sudia threw the table up, which fell on top of Koshi. The next day, Athena was sewing something when, looking out the window, she saw the protagonist saying goodbye to Fry, who was going to an event. Before the girl left, she asked him to clean her room, and when the boy went to see it, he found it to be a mess, but luckily for her, Athena appeared, saying she would help him. When they hear a noise, the two go to Serene's room, which looks like it's going to explode, and even trying to force it, the door won't open. Worried about the moon girl, they went outside, and she was hanging from the window as it was the only way out of the room. However, she ended up falling, and Koshi rushed to help her, where he ended up breaking her fall using her body. 
Seeing that a strange goo was coming out of the room, Athena also tried to open the door, and as if the situation wasn't already chaotic enough, Sudia appeared to inspect the dorm. They gave up on Serene's room for now and went to fix Frey's, where the protagonist started to get nostalgic when he saw the clothes that the crazy cosplay girl forced him to wear. After some time, the three finished the room, and when they went to Serene's, she didn't want to let anyone in, so they went to Minoru first. Upon entering, no one was there, and after opening a mysterious door, everyone entered a room where they took a shower and were dried right away. That was the decontamination mode, and Minoru appeared, showing everyone his laboratory, which the protagonist thought was really cool, but since he didn't have anything to clean there, they left. Serene still didn't want to let anyone in, but with some moon cookies, Athena made her give up, and with their combined strength, they managed to open the door, where several objects fell to the floor. These were some of the gifts she had set aside for them, as she wanted to show gratitude for the past year and the way everyone had treated her. She took them out of her segment collection, and when looking for them, she ended up putting several objects in front of the door, which caused that problem. Koshi and Sudia entered the room to clean everything up, while Minoru, who had been drinking, tried to convince Athena to drink with her, who, just by feeling her friend's breath, had already gotten drunk. In this way, when leaving the room, the protagonist was embraced by the three, where Athena began to complain about how the boy is close to Sudia and that she also wants this, until the girl appeared very irritated with what she was seeing. The next day, the protagonist asked the girls where they spent New Year's Eve, and they said they stayed in the dorm, which made him very happy, as he considers them his family and wants to spend the New Year with everyone. In search of a delicious meal for the date, Minoru asked Athena to go with the protagonist to the market, which she ended up denying, saying that she is busy at the moment, where we know that she plans to finish the glove she is sewing. That way, Korea went shopping with him, where the protagonist was acting a little strange until he ended up passing out. She ran to the dorm, where we see that Athena finished the gloves, and soon after she received the news that the boy was sick. Arriving at the event, Fry saw the situation and ran to hug Koshi, who ended up waking up because of it. He has a cold and a high fever, but he still wanted to prepare things for the new year, but he was stopped by them as he needed to rest. Talking to the girls, Minoru explains what Koshi needs to get better and says that his recovery depends on them, so Fry dresses up as a nurse, and Korea crushes various fruits with her hands to make juice for the boy. Suddenly, Sudia appears very worried about him, and when trying to check how hot he was, she ends up fainting because of the heat. Falling on top of him, the girls take the girl out of there, and taking advantage of the chance, Fry appears in a provocative way, but Athena quickly arrives, followed by Korea with a suspicious juice, where confusion ends up happening and Athena faints because of the nosebleed. Later, Koshi ends up having a nightmare about the fire that destroyed his old house, and because he woke up very sweaty, he decided to go to the bathroom, where Fry and Serene were waiting for him, and another fan service scene takes place. When running out of the bathroom, the boy ends up meeting Korea, who puts on him an outfit that she had just destroyed, but she didn't feel bad, he said he liked it and that it would be perfect to go sweep the patio. That way, he goes outside, but because of the cold, he ends up going back in, where he sees another mess going on, and because of embarrassment, he faints. They take the protagonist's temperature again, find that it has taken a turn for the worse, and begin to feel bad about it. Athena tells them that she wants to stay by his side until he gets better, and she convinces them all to accept that. While he slept, Athena kept putting a cold cloth on his forehead and eventually changed the boy's sweaty clothes. After a while, Koshi started having more nightmares, but holding his hand, she calmed him down. Remembering all the times he helped her, Athena thanked the protagonist and hugged him, asking him to get better soon so that they could continue having fun together. The next day, the protagonist woke up with Athena hugging him. Already feeling better, he went to clean the patio as usual, where he received the present that she had made an effort to make for him. 
Also, being New Year's Eve, they needed to go to the market, and this time, all the girls went along with him. Well guys, that was the summary of Mother of the Goddess Dormitory. So far, this is all the anime content we have of this work, but the second season has apparently been confirmed, but still without a premiere date, so as soon as it launches, I will bring it here on the channel. If you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe below. I hope all is well with you until next time.